Hello. I hope you've been having a good week. Did you go back to school this week? Or maybe you started school for the first time. Was it exciting? Perhaps it was a little bit scary. But I hope you've made some new friends and had some fun and started to find your way around. Now, last week we heard some of the stories Jesus told us to help us understand the Kingdom of Heaven. Can you remember what they were about, Obadiah? Was one of them about a parrot? No. Oh, I'm sure it had something to do with pirates. Um, was it about a wooden leg? It was about buried treasure. That's what I said. It was about buried treasure. And do you remember what the other one was about? It was something precious and very beautiful. Was it about an ostrich? No. It was about a pearl. One of those beautiful shiny beads that's made by an oyster. That's what I said. It was something oysterish. Oystrich. Oystrish. Ostrich. Like that. Oh, I have what are you like? Um, anyway, what did we learn about the Kingdom of Heaven? Is it a place we can go to on a bus? No, it is not. No, it isn't. We can find the Kingdom of Heaven wherever we are, and it's more precious than any of our other ordinary possessions. The people in the stories went and sold everything they owned. Do you remember? I do. Are the stories this week about selling things too? No. No, they're not. They're a little bit different. The first one is about baking bread. Is, isn't that that TV show about a chemistry teacher? No. I mean bread. You know, that you make sandwiches out of. People make it by baking dough in an oven. This woman is baking bread. Lots of bread. She's mixed flour and water and some other ingredients, but so far there's something missing. There's nothing to make the bread rise, to make all those little bubbles that make the bread all fat and soft. If she bakes it now, it will come out flat and hard. Luckily, she has some special dough called leaven. Leaven has yeast in. Yeast is a type of fungus. The leaven also has some useful bacteria living in it. The yeast and the bacteria will make the bread rise. She only has a tiny bit of leaven, but that's all she needs. When she mixes the leaven into her dough, the tiny living things in it, the yeast and the bacteria will multiply and spread through the rest of the dough so that it rises and she'll have beautiful, tasty bread. Jesus said, that the kingdom of heaven is like the leaven. All that rhymes! Oh, it does. But what do you think it means? I don't know. Well, the leaven made a big change. Just a little bit of it made a big change. So maybe it means that if we just catch a little glimpse of God's kingdom, it can change our whole life. Oh! So perhaps if we see one small bit of kindness, it can make us realise how life can be better if we're just kind to each other instead of arguing and fighting and being afraid of each other. Lots of people are afraid, aren't they, Hannah? Yeah, they are. And they, they argue and fight because they're afraid. Yes. That's sad, isn't it? Yes, it is. But... The story of the leaven is a hopeful story. Hope is like the leaven. A little bit of hope can make a big change. And I think that whenever we feel hope, we're catching a little glimpse of the kingdom of heaven. Wow! Well, are you ready for another story? Oh, yes! This one's a little bit like the one we just shared, but this one's about a seed. A seed? Yes. A very, very tiny seed. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Ooh, I like mustard. Well, 
The mustard you put on your food is made from the seeds of the mustard plant. Mustard seeds are very, very small. They're only a millimetre or two across. But if you plant the seed, it quickly grows into a plant that's taller than a person. In fact, the tallest mustard plants are about the same size as a fully grown male ostrich. That is big! Mm -hmm. A tiny seed grows into a great big plant. That's amazing. I'm amazed. I thought you would be. I am. So, is the plant all folded up inside the seed? No, the seed just has the instructions for making the plant. So, where does all the stuff come from to make the plant? Well, from the air mostly, which is pretty incredible, isn't it? It is. And Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Oh, is it? Really, 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 really tiny. What, like you? <clears throat> um, <laughs> well, I think it can start with a really tiny change. I did hear that, you know. <laughs> As I was saying, I think it can start with a really tiny change in our lives. A tiny bit of hope. One decision to be kind instead of cruel. Stopping for a second to remember God's love. And that can change everything. So it's like a tiny seed that can grow into a great big plant and it's like treasure. Yeah. It's like that stuff that made all the bread soft and tasty and it's like a pearl. Yeah. And all it takes to get there is a little bit of hope and a little bit of love. Yeah. That's amazing. It is. And you know something? There are even more stories that Jesus told us about the Kingdom of Heaven so we can understand even more about it. So, should we do some of those next week? Oh, yes, please. That's great. Should we sing? Oh, yes.
unstoppable. So that's about it for today. But just remember that even a tiny act of kindness can really help with growing the kingdom of heaven. Shall we pray? Oh, yes. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you came to us and you told us these stories about the kingdom of heaven that can happen right here on earth whenever we want it to. Lord, we just ask you to help us remember that being kind really does make a difference. It really matters and it helps to grow the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Amen. Amen. And we shall see you next week. Bye.